black hoodie, I'm back cooking these goodies. Look at these views from cooking these foods. Yeah. All right, yo. <laughs> what is up? And what is good with y'all? Timing. It's all about timing. Interesting topic, but we don't need to get into that. What we need to get into is shouting out Pingu, my guy who came through, supported the fundage with a request that he wanted to see me eat this exact meal, essentially. I put in a little couple of my own things, a little gravy on the side, a little catchy, and I brought a bundle of palate refreshers. Basically the Mentos of vegetables, you know what I mean? If you remember, you remember. Okay, now, so shout out to Pingu, love you. Anybody who, who comes through and supports the guy and wants their own meal like this, it's legit. So anyways, he wanted tater tots, buffalo style wings. Obviously I'm gonna have some ranch in there, homemade chef up, and then a soda of my choosing. I went crazy today, I went buck. And I went with the wild cherry Pepsi because honestly, it is mm, crack cocaine in a bottle. <laughs> it is really good. Any we've discussed this many times. Anything cherry, uh, like cola, is incredible. So we pull up, right? A little physiometry, physics, <laughs> if you will. <laughs> Oh, that leads into my whole mind state of today. Fit, like physics, F-I-Z-Z, physics, but physics also actual physics of like life and the laws of physics and shit. I think too much. I want to know too much. I delve into too much. And it stresses, it stresses me out. But what doesn't stress me out is an inaugural sip of Pepsi, cherry Pepsi, I might add. Pucker up, buttercup. We're going all the way. All right, let's get into it. Okay, so bring you back into the center fold. That's a strip club in my town. <laughs> oh my God, they posted a sign the other day saying something about like, they literally spelled the word come with like C-U-M. It's like come together, come one, come all or something. <laughs> all right. Okay. But anyways, things, wings, really, that's what it's all about. Okay. So in my best opinion of life, we could do many styles of wings, but as per a buffalo wing, I think a bar style buffalo wing is quintessential. It's key. Simple, natural, the crispy of the skin, no breading, no, no battering, no, none of that. And then you're either gonna blue chi it, <laughs> John Bellucci's, <laughs> or you're gonna do a homemade ranch concocted out of sour cream that was about to go bad. And that's what's happening here and I almost just spilled that. But what I'm saying is it's glistening and it's perfect. So I personally believe a buffalo bar wing is what's up. Of course it is. It's exactly what's up. amazing right there hmm. just perfect clean as bones that's decomposed True crime murderer bones. That's what that is. Also, this ranch that I made, this non dish. It's 
smacking so hard. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Y'all know I keep that attention to detail when it comes to cleaning the bones. And really anything else, to be honest. Mm, amazing. Okay. I will say... Back to the initials of this video. <laughs> I'm doing a double celery dip. I always think like I think too often, too much, too deeply. And I never know what to do in a video sometimes. I never know if I'm like, should I just keep it shut the fuck up? Should I keep it surface and simple? Should I go deep? And talk about things that I've been personally experiencing or studying or observing like just certain content I've taken in perhaps <clears throat> be it theological or scientific philosophical Whatever. And I never know where to go. I don't know. <laughs> it's like everybody likes something different. It's really what I'm trying to say. Do we just focus on the food? Do we just talk about the food? <laughs> Do we just talk about the makeup of a tater tot? And how <laughs> whoever designed this is a fucking genius. Like it's so compartmentalized <laughs> into these little, I don't even know what you call these, little sub chunks of potatoes. <laughs> and they crisp up outside and they're so Soft inside. <laughs> they kind of remind you of gnocchi. Like they seem piped, but they're not whipped. They're, they're like riced almost. See, this is my mind. I literally psychoanalyze everything. Mm. 
I think it's part and parcel why. Well, channels just die over time, which is what it is, it's real. But I think for some people, they just want simplicity. They just want to escape. They just want to see the food of the eating. They want to hear the noises. I understand that. It's like just uh, getting lost in a good movie that you've seen like a thousand times. For me, Jurassic Park. Just quiet the noise. So maybe I'm too much for certain people. <laughs> I'm just like, I can't listen to this guy going. like diving into fractals of understanding of things. Like you're microscopically analyzing everything way too much, which I do. But I have an innate curiosity to want to know how things actually work. From a core foundation. Currently in my head, <laughs> and this was crazy. I could be having this conversation with you right now, turbo focused on what it is that's like happening right in front of me, but simultaneously in my head, I have the guitar riff. from the weekend song, Sacrifice. Looping in my head. I can hear sacrifice. This is, I don't know, it's just in there. I'm like, how am I talking about all the shit I'm talking about, eating this meal, and in the background is a thunk, 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 thunk. Whoever he works with
in his productions. They just get it. They all just get it. They know how to make shit hot. Catchily hot. And what's crazy about the heat that they produce is it's actually semi-modernized reiterations of like Michael Jackson era shit. But music back then was so fucking crack, like So it makes sense why it works nowadays because it's still so timeless. That formula, the structure, the instrumentation, the, the soundscape, like that certain type of sound enters the body at least for me in such a well obviously for millions if not billions others in such a certain way Best way I could just describe it is just hypnotic. It's literally hypnotic. It's almost like pop trance music. Like trance music is it's this looping, really catchy loop, essentially. And when you're in a zone and like enters your body, you just get caught in that loop. It's similar with Michael Jackson or The Weeknd, like those type of music, like just that guitar. This is driving, right? Just keeps you in that, in that loop. We get in the sweaty bags. Oh, sweaty bags. What's kind of cool about that song too and what's relatable is like, his real name's Abel Tasfe and I'm not from where he's from, but I'm from Canada, Ontario, pretty close, but then I lived where he's from and I saw his come up and everything. Da -da -da -da. And then in this song he goes, You know, I'm I'm, uh, I'm from a city where the winter night nights don't never sleep. So that mm, is always with me. It's all it's just crazy to hear him talk about like How his point of origin in life, the cold, long, hard, dark winter nights, and days, how they still affect his person.
how they've still like embedded or instilled something in him. Because it's true. When you grow up and rather like this, it breeds a different type of person. That said, when you grow up in the Costa Rican jungle, it breeds a different type of person from us. Like, but it breeds a type of person is what I'm trying to say. Ultimately, it breeds a person. The exposure to that breeds almost a certain ingrained personality trait. And even Joe Rogan has said it on his podcast, like, because he's originally from, I think he said New Jersey or something like that, or around there. East Coast. And he's like, the average person from the East Coast, they're just built different. Because the seasonal elements make you rise to certain occasions. Like, it's just, you don't have a choice. Certain temperatures, amount of snow, getting plowed in. And having to shovel all this shit. It just makes you different. To to, to become resilient to a certain like to, to a certain degree of temperature and all the hardships that come with winter, it's like it just breeds a different individual. It's almost like those spear fishermen that from hot climates that can like hold their breath and walk on the bottom of water. It's like they were raised to do that. They're they're like aqua aquanauts almost. It's just but they do it naturally. They don't need anything, right? Like they just do it with a spear and goggles and they hold their breath, but they're like trained for it. They can go stand there for like what, like 10, 15 minutes, these guys? It's crazy. And, uh, but if you brought them to, to my climate, they'd be like, they'd be fucking dead in an instant, right? Same as me trying to die with them. I'd be dead. You know, if I didn't go back up, I'd be dead. So this is crazy. Anyways, this is my brain. And, uh, I never know in these videos, it's like, like I said, like the options, like shut the fuck up, be surface or go, you know dissect things and philosophy and think because I'm an overthinker. Anyways, shout out Pingu. I hope I didn't ruin this for you by thinking too much. But till the next one, y'all know what to do. Eat good, live well, stay true. I love you. Peace. If you like this content, please like, comment, and subscribe, as well as check out my pinned comment down below to find other ways to support this channel. Thank you for watching. Eat good, live well, and stay true.